Hi everyone! Today we're going to be making this super simple beginner level crochet bookmark that looks like a sushi when you roll it up. This is a super quick project that'll take you less than an hour to make. Let's get started. Alright, hi! So I have four colors of my favorite worsted weight yarn. You can use whatever kind of yarn you like. I prefer this standard worsted weight yarn. And I have white, orange, black, and green. Also for this project, you will need a 3.5 crochet hook. So I'm going to start with my orange yarn. I'm left-handed, by the way. I, if you've watched my other video, you know that. If not, I'm sorry. Do the standard uh, flip protocol to uh, make it right-handed if you're making this project yourself. So I'm going to make a slip knot. However, you make a slip knot. Um, I just like to wrap it around my finger, make a little X, pull the loop off my finger, tuck your working yarn underneath it, and pull your working yarn through. And that is how I make a slip knot. Put our crochet hook in, and we're going to chain six. For this project, all you need to learn how to do is chain, single crochet, double crochet, and slip stitch. That is all you'll need. So, we have our six chained, and so what I'm going to do is instead of going through one loop of the chain like you normally would to work back on this other side of the yarn, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go into the little bumps on the back of the yarn, and I'll show you why when I get to the back. So go ahead and single crochet in each of these little bumps so that we have five stitches. Okay, so I've made it back, and you can see on the top, our single crochets look like normal. And on the bottom, you can also see that it looks almost like another stitch down there. So that's why I like to do this particular um, stitch like I did. So we're going to do one more row of orange. So chain one, and then turn your work. And we're going to do five single crochet back. When you get to the last stitch, do it like normal, but right before you make that last stitch, don't yarn over, you're going to grab our next color of yarn, which is going to be our green, loop it around our hook, and pull through instead of that orange, and that's going to change our color. So then we're going to do two rows with the green, so we're going to chain one, turn our work, and go back into these five stitches. And you can also cut our orange running yarn right now. That's our first row of green, so we're going to chain one, turn our work, and go back the other way. And all these are single crochet. So since this is our last stitch, I'm going to take our orange again. Switch yarn, trim our green, chain one with the orange, flip it, and we are going to make five rows of orange. And this is something where you can mix and match these colors as well. So don't feel like you have to do orange and green. I just like it because I think it looks like a California roll but I've also thought about doing a like pink and yellow one for a filly roll, or you can try even making like a negri. Since we get to that last stitch, we're going to do what we did before. Grab our green, pull it through, a little bit and chain and we are going to do four rows of green and so once I get done with my green rows I'm actually gonna grab my white next and change my yarn
and we're going to chain one. I'm going to do one row of single crochet in the white. When we get to the end, we're going to chain two. We are going to do five rows of double crochet. So once we come to this last double crochet, let me do it. Yarn over, go through your stitch, yarn, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through these two, and before you yarn over and pull through the last one, we're gonna do the same thing with our black. We're going to chain two, and we are going to do seven DC rows of black. And when you come to the end of this row, don't fasten off just yet. We're going to chain one and turn, and then we are going to slip stitch into the first three stitches of this top row. When you get to the third stitch, slip stitch like normal, and then we're going to chain four. And this is just going to make the button loop. We're going to go back into that third stitch, slip stitch again and then slip stitch into the last two just to even everything out. Once you get to that last one, I like to make another little chain, cut our yarn, and we're going to just fasten off. And so that is the main body of the bookmark. The next step is going to be to tie off and weave in any loose ends. So I just like to tighten my yarn as best I can. Tie it in just a little double knot. And then with a yarn needle just sew it in and trim it. So I'm going to do that really quick. So I will meet you back here and we will finish off this guy. Alrighty, so once we have weaved in all of our ends, the last step is going to be to add a button. So I'm using a little half inch button but I found you can use like a slightly bigger button if needed because the button loop will stretch to fit. So don't stress if your button is bigger or smaller, it, it should work. So I just have normal sewing thread and a little needle. And what we're gonna do is just pick a side. Both of them look pretty much the same anyway. And we are going to go through basically the top of this row of double crochet. So like right in the middle, where these first and second row of double crochet meets. And I try to go like right through the yarn because I know that it won't stay all the time. I got lucky this time. If it doesn't want to stay, you can loop through the yarn and pull a loop through your working thread and that'll lock it in place. I'm gonna grab my button Right it through one side, slide it down, and go back through the other side and go just right back through where we brought the yarn up. And if it starts to get like off center like that looks, we're, we'll fix it. So go back up through our yarn, go through one of the holes, and I'm just gonna adjust a little bit and go back down through the other side. And you can do this one more time if you want. Depends on how secure you think it feels. I think mine feels pretty good. So once I've gone through, on the back I'm going to just tie a little knot off. So just go through part of the yarn, go back through your loop, I'll tie a little knot, and just lock it in place. And go back through and loop through. 
and that should lock in your string. So just trim that guy and this guy is finished. So the button is going to go on the outside. So on the opposite side, I'm going to start at the bottom and just roll your way on up. And when you get to the orange and the green, you'll notice they kind of line up. I did the green a little shorter just to make it like a little asymmetrical, but I think it adds to the design. Just keep going. The white should match up and keep right on rolling to get to the top and loop your button loop over and you've got a little sushi. So this is perfect for like traveling, I think, because I can just toss it into a pocket in my backpack and have a bookmark if needed, or it can just be a cute little display in my gurry. And um, yeah, so what you're left with is just a little sushi guy. All right, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you decide to make this project, I would love to know about it and see pictures. So feel free to hop on over to Instagram. My handle is at once upon a spark. Um, feel free to tag me in anything that you make from these tutorials. If you feel compelled to, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next time.